Hi, I'm Hank, and this video is to show you how to animate text into Clip Studio Paint. Hopefully there's a less cumbersome way to do it, but this is a way that I know that works. To illustrate, I'll create an example using an episode from Chad and Hank. Stagnant text is pretty simple. To create the names Gary V and Chad and Hank, I tap the letter A text icon on the left side of the screen. That created a folder and frame for those texts, but I can't create another frame along those timelines. To create multiple frames of text in the same timeline, I create a new animation folder, then a new animation frame. Next, I create a new folder and insert the new layer in it. This pulls up when you click the three lines on the layer window. Next, I click the text icon to create a dialog box and start typing. Oops, I want my text to be white. Notice that when I create a new dialog box, a new animation folder is created. I occasionally will blind folders that I don't want to see to make what I am doing easier to work on. After you have your text, the next thing to do is to copy and paste your text into the new empty folder that you created earlier. So we copy. Then we paste into our empty folder. Next, I blind the original stagnant text animation folder. Now, when we create new frames on this timeline, Clip Studio Paint automatically duplicates what was done in the previous frame so that all you have to do is replace the words in the text box. You are also able to tween or move the text whichever way that you would like from here. So I'll create another consecutive text.
please like and subscribe if you found this information helpful. Now I will show you a few seconds of what this looks like animated. Bruh, look at those eyebrows. Does he comb those? I'm Hank. I'm Chad. We're working on building an audience for our animated shorts, and we also make graphics for businesses. What do you think about posting daily tips and quotes with our artwork on social media?